What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, today I've got a story time for y'all that I think you're going to enjoy that was sent in about this dude's neighbor that ended up like blowing up their own car. I wouldn't recommend doing anything that you hear about in this video, alright? It's probably not worth it, but I figured it would be entertaining. But before we get into it, be sure to press the like button, otherwise no joke, no scam. The next person that moves in next door to you is going to act like this, and trust me, you don't want that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Nice rack in her ass Brazilian, just turned 21, but my bank's a million, swear I'm Alright, so I think everybody has encountered the type of person that feels like they have the capability to fix everything themselves. And sometimes, you know, people do have the ability to be really handy, fix things with ease. It's just a part of who they are. My dad is like super handy, dude. Any projects around the house, he wants to do it himself. You know, he has fun doing it. I'm not the same type of person like that. But one of my favorite things to encounter is somebody that like swears they're a handyman, swears that they can fix anything, but really has no clue what they're doing, especially with like advanced pieces of machinery. You know, if I don't know something about something complicated, that's okay. I can just kind of admit that I don't know anything about it. But I guess that this dude's neighbor that he sent in the story about was not one of those people. He had bought a car and it was just, you know, one of those types of cars where you have to have like special maintenance for it. Not not super special as in like you need to send it off to Italy to get fixed but enough where like oil changes were particularly expensive because it was a foreign car parts were really expensive you could only take it to certain garages that knew how to work on it that type of thing and that's just the reality of owning certain types of cars you would think you would have done a little bit of research before, you know, you bought the car and decided to own it forever. Like, hey, is this really easy to maintain and take care of? But apparently he just didn't look. And he got so fed up with having to take it to certain mechanics and having to, you know, deal with other people, having to pay them more to work on his car, that he decided he was just going to do it himself. And this guy was an advanced do-it-yourselfer with absolutely no experience for what he was doing. The person who sent this in happened to live in a place where like a lot of people have had their homes custom built and a lot of people pay companies to come in and build their house because they don't know how to do it. But this guy was known in the community for like trying to do everything himself, swearing he knew how to do everything. He had this little shack on this small bit of land and while he was building it, he had actually burned it down three times because he had insisted on doing the wiring himself. And after the third time there was a fire, you know, they insisted that he hire an electrician to wire it himself and he fought it basically as long as he could because he swore he knew how to do it. He had a pond in his backyard that he was going to build a drain for and he swore he knew how to do it and it basically just built a drain to flood the neighbor's yard instead. Like that was the type of, no, I can do it myself, this guy was. So immediately whenever he starts telling his neighbors that he's sick and tired of paying these mechanics to rip him off and fix his car and he's gonna do it himself, he doesn't need anyone to, you know, use no fancy tools or special knowledge to fix a car. He's changed oil so he knows what he's doing. And listen, there's something to be said for, you know, maybe you don't need to pay a mechanic to change your oil if you know how to do that very well. If you don't know how to do it, I'm not gonna shame you, it is what it is. But like, that's something that's within the realm of possibility. The only problem is this guy's car was starting to have transmission trouble. And that's just the type of thing that like, if you don't know a lot about cars, it's probably out of your wheelhouse of things you should fix yourself, you know. Ah, my axle broke, I might as well get a piece of wood and like, fix it that way, you know. There's certain things that you don't want to DIY fix. Whatever, your dashboard looks ugly, you want to take a crack at fixing it yourself, by all means. But I really wouldn't mess with the transmission or like parts of the engine yourself unless you're a mechanic or something. And just so you know why this guy insisting on doing everything himself was super insane, he was an accountant. So it's not like he's a handyman, it's not like he works construction, it's not like he's a mechanic. He literally just does everything himself and then goes to his accountant job. So, whatever, he starts telling everyone that he's gonna fix his car himself, and a couple of the neighbors even give him the advice of like, hey, I wouldn't necessarily do that, that seems like a bad idea, you're probably gonna mess it up, and then you're gonna have to pay someone to fix what you messed up. But, you know, he's a tough guy, it doesn't matter, he's gonna fix his car himself. So, whatever, one night he puts it up on jacks, and I guess in the midst of fixing his transmission via YouTube video, he also decides that he's gonna make some modifications to the car, and he decides 
to tell everyone about the modifications he's gonna make himself I think in a way to like flex about oh look what I'm gonna do to my car like look what I'm gonna do he starts saying he's gonna put Nos in it because he was a big fan of Fast and Furious. And listen, I like the Fast and Furious movies. I watch them kind of like a comedy movie where it's like, all right, let's see what Vin Diesel thinks that like is possible now. You know, like when uh, in the recent movie when he like flies off the cliff with the grappling gun and then holds onto it and the entire car uses the grappling line. Like just some stuff's a bit ridiculous, but I would never necessarily look at Fast and Furious and go, that's what I should do to my car. But I guess this guy decided that he was going to put NOS on his car. And for those of you that don't know, it's basically like this flammable gas that I, I don't know exactly how it works, but it kind of makes the combustion stronger in your engine, I think, so you go faster for a little. Regardless, flammable is all you got to know about that, right? And everyone tells him when he starts bragging about this to the neighbors that it's a really bad idea to do that yourself. You know, the transmission already a bad idea, but anything involving new lines on a car that, like, can't be near certain temperature things, it's probably best to just, you know, not do it by hand yourself if you have no experience doing it. Probably better to pay someone to do that than accidentally light your car on fire. Anyways, whatever. He says he's gonna have it done in a week. A week turns into two weeks, a week turns into three weeks, three weeks turns into four. So it's about a month later and this guy is still working on this car. He's not even done with the transmission yet. Nowhere near like the, the NOS lines or anything he swore he was gonna do himself. But regardless, he's still bragging about it, saying it's taking him longer because he has had to redo some things, blah 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 blah. Chances are he just kind of messed up and had to redo it because he didn't know how to do it right. And whatever, finally after a month he says that he's gonna start working on the NOS lines, which, you know, to, to each their own, like I said I wouldn't do it myself, but, you know, I, I guess it's America. And he has these bottles of it, and as I said, it's a flammable material, so he's got them in the garage, and he's obviously tinkering with lines and trying to set stuff up, and blah 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 blah. And one morning, the subscriber that sent this in wakes up to the sounds of what can only be described as, like, a, uh, a grown man, like, crying, but not in a, a, not in a way that, like, makes sense, you know, not, like, a, a stoic crying, but, like, a grown man wailing, like, you know, like, someone just took his puppy. And the sound of sirens and everybody else yelling, stop, stop. And it just so happens that he could look out his window and see into this neighbor's garage. And so he looks out, and in the driveway, they had pretty long driveways, there's this, like, trailer with a car on it, and it's on fire. This thing is literally on fire, dude. It's burning. It's it's covered in flames. It looks like, you know, eight-year-old, you got to design a Nintendo DS. This thing is covered in flames. Alright guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at your screen now, you'll see an Xbox gift card. For those of you that don't know, I give away a gift card in every single video I post here on this channel as a way to say thank you to you guys for subscribing and turning on notifications. So if you haven't already, you should definitely do that. And while you're at it, be sure to press the like button and comment the word poop down below if you're enjoying the video so far. And uh, yeah, I'll shut up and get back to the video now. Thanks. And obviously they're just kind of taking in this site. It's not every day you wake up to someone's car on fire across the street or at least I hope not dude like if that is something you're waking up to every day I think you should talk to your parents about maybe moving if you can you know that's just really not not a healthy spot to be at I'm sure it's not good for you to be breathing that stuff in but anyways you know he's just kind of watching this and as he kind of comes more into picture all of the neighbors are sitting there and they're holding back the neighbor whose car it is and he's screaming it wasn't me it wasn't me but like wailing in between that and listen, dude, here's all I'm gonna say about it being you. You were messing with the flammable material, laying lines to transport flammable material near a motor that gets very hot with no experience on ever doing it before. Your car was not on fire. You start messing with flammable things, it catches on fire. You know, I I'm not saying that I know exactly what happened, I'm just saying that it looks pretty obvious what, like, probably went down. And obviously the neighbors are holding him back because he's like trying to get to the car and I just don't really know what homeboy thought he was going to do like okay let's say hypothetically the neighbors let go of you um, what are you going to do about the flaming car and, I, and I'm just being honest man if they don't hold you back what you're gonna run up to the fireball and like jump in it and put it out yourself no you're just gonna light yourself on fire and now this story time is no longer entertaining it's just sad. So obviously everyone's holding him back, but the sirens are coming down the road and it's a fire truck. The fire trucks pull up and they start doing their thing. I don't really know what the procedure is for taking care of a car that's on fire in a driveway, but I'm sure they've got one. They tend to be prepared for these types of things. 
But, uh, you know, at that point, the subscriber's like, I'm going to get over there and get an idea of what happens. So they basically get dressed pretty quick, and they run across the street. There's a bunch of neighbors, so it's not like it's that big of a deal that they pull up. It wasn't insane for them to come investigate. Obviously, it's not every day that this happens in the neighborhood. And most of the neighborhood is there, dude. Between the car fire, the screaming, the sirens, it's made enough noise now that basically anything attracted to sound within an 18-mile radius is getting closer. If this was, like, the movie A Quiet Place, all these people would be about to get yeeted on. But he goes over there, and the fire department is doing their thing, and the, the neighbor is just kind of telling everybody that he doesn't know what happened. One second, everything was good, and the next second, everything was on fire, right? And obviously, everyone's like, okay, well, it was probably a little bit more than that, but they don't want to argue with him right now. He just watched his car burn down. Finally, the police, or not the police, the fire department, my bad, put out the fire, whatever. And they come over, and they kind of are like, hey, can we talk to you? And they start talking to him, seeing what they found, blah, 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 blah. And they say that the cause of the fire was one of the uh, cables, what Zanas was in. It looked like someone had, like, burned it, you know? Like, as if when it was going, there was stuff in the cables or the, the line. Not the cable, the line. You guys know what I'm saying. Like, someone had, like, put something hot next to it. And this guy proceeds to explain that, you know, he had finally put the lines in and it had been pumping, he was testing it or whatever, I don't really know what his logic is, it's not like there was much logic to it. And, you know, he had realized that there was stuff going through it, so he lit a cigarette in order to celebrate to smoke. This guy had decided to whip out a lighter and light a cigarette dramatically close to the line and the can of flammable stuff that he had in his car, bro. So obviously, as soon as it bursted, he ran away. And what had really woken up the subscriber that he didn't recognize at first was one of the cans had exploded. That had been, like, in the car, obviously, when it catches on fire, you know. So this guy had literally managed to, like, cause an explosion in his car because after working with extremely flammable materials, went, eh, I'm gonna light up a cigarette, might as well. Like, what in the world, dude? I don't know how many of you guys have seen the movie Zoolander, but there's this scene where they're playing with gasoline, they're having a gasoline fight, and then they light a cigarette, and it's, like, supposed to be like, oh, wow, oh, that's, that's awful and really dumb. This guy just completed the speed run in real life, though. Like, work with flammable materials, use a lighter, everything you just shouldn't do. But whatever, he doesn't seem too disturbed because he starts telling the neighbors that it's alright because the insurance is going to cover it. And right away, the neighbors are just not really on his side anymore. And they're like, yeah, I don't think the insurance is going to cover a fire and explosion that you did yourself with unauthorized work. And sure enough, dude, the insurance company's like, let me get this straight. You are doing something in your garage that you have no certification for, no license to do. You don't know how to do it, wiring your car, right? And on top of that, you lit it on fire yourself. You admit that, and you want us to pay for it. You're out of your mind. And he starts complaining to the neighbors about this, like, insurance company being like, isn't it ridiculous that they don't want to pay for this? You know, it's they're supposed to pay for damages to the car. This was damages to the car. I don't understand why they're not going to cover it, blah, 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 blah. And a couple of the neighbors, you know, once again, try to be like, well, you did light it on fire yourself, so it's not like they have, you know, that much of a reason to pay for it. Insurance is more for, like, accidents. Let's say that your car is struck by lightning when it's parked under a street pole and then it catches on fire. That's more what it's made for. It's not like, I'm gonna light my car on fire and then get money because it's Tuesday. That's not, it's, just, it's just not made for that. But whatever, this guy just doesn't get it. Finally, he doesn't get the insurance payout, so he goes out and buys another car. And within, like, a month or two, it has some car trouble. And listen, it's not surprising. I'm sure this guy isn't the nicest of the cars he drives. But instead of taking it to a mechanic, he puts it up on jacks and tries to fix this issue himself, right? And he's already blown up one car, so he tries to fix this one himself. You'd think he would have given up by now. And since then, it literally has not moved off the jacks, dude. Like, it's been up for weeks now. He cannot fix it. He keeps complaining to everyone about how he's not going to fix it. And he keeps blaming the insurance company. Like, oh, it's their fault that I got another bad car because insurance companies make money off car sales. Like, he has this whole conspiracy now. Moral of the story, if you don't know how to do something, it's okay to pay someone to do it. You know, it's not embarrassing, it's not cringe, it's just probably the better way to do it, otherwise you might accidentally blow up your car and make a fool out of yourself, I guess, is the moral of the video. But, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought, and of course, subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications. If you like the intro song, a link to it can be found in the description along with the link to my podcast, The Scuffed Cast, and you could use code SCRUBBY at the G Fuel checkout in order to get a discount on G Fuel. Helps you out, helps me out. Everyone's a winner. 
Other than that, it is October, and we've got the Halloween merch. It's on your screen now. You can check it out and go get yourself some from the top link in the description. Be sure to do that. And, uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I think that's gonna do it. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.